Baby, I put the wrong time on the thing anyway. <clears throat> hey, butterflies. <laughs> Welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with the me, Dr. Samo. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes here on the channel. It is always appreciated. And a major shout out to all the channel members as well as the members over on my website. Thank you for your continued support here on the channel. I hope you all enjoy your extra content. If you're interested in extra content or the membership, feel free to check out the links and things down below in the description box. All right, y'all. So let's get into this energy. Mm. <clears throat> I'm hearing the common denominator. The common denominator. So in math, with fractions, you have something called the denominator. And then you have the denominator is the number on the bottom. Numerator is the number at the top. And so the common denominator is used when you need to join two fractions that have different denominators. And so basically you need to find most times is the least common denominator. So you're finding the, the least common denominator between both that they share. So for example, say you have the fraction one half and you want to add that to one eighth. Okay. Is that a good way to put it? Mm, no, I'm going to use three. So you have one half and you want to add it to one third, right? Well, two and three can't be added together because the denominators are different. So you want to look and find the least common denominator. The least common denominator of both of those is six. Because two times three is six. Three times two is six. So then you multiply both sides by that number that makes it the common, and then you can join them together, okay? This is giving the message of, as we've been talking about villains and superheroes, of us merging our villain and our superhero sides as a way to master self. So when we're talking about mastering shadow self or mastering our higher and our lower self or mastering and conquering certain aspects of self or others, mastering themselves, it's the sense of honestly mastering your villain and your superhero because we all have both. And both deserve to be heard. One is not better than the other just because one is romanticized and the other one is villainized. The same way of how light and dark is villainized, but everything starts from dark. So why are we visualizing the start of something? When both are equally important. So it's something about in this mastery that you're currently walking into right now is you mastering your villain and your and your hero side. You have the three of cups coming out. God dang, what number is this one? And the Knight of Wands. Oh, wow. I'm glad I could be a vessel for you, Pooh. So with the Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands coming out, it's like making sure you have a balance of like, friend groups or like groups that you hang with and like people that you hang with and what you do. Um, making sure you have a balance, right? So we have different friends. We have different friend groups. We get different things from different friend groups. So we may have one friend group and 
we we explore this together then we have another friend group and we explore this together right never be afraid to expand out to explore other groups of people because different groups of people bring out different parts of you different people bring out different parts of you you never know what you will be interested in if you don't allow yourself to connect to people and things that are different from what you're used to what do we talk about with the polarities and the opposite so in order for us to be able to conquer and master that, we have to be able to master the opposite energy. And so in order to master the opposite, the opposite of a hero is the villain, right? So this also goes into this with our friends and doing different things. We can't be afraid to step out. I've had the most fun and I've met some of the most amazing people when I've traveled alone. traveled alone and you want to know why when i traveled alone i was more open to be open and meet people okay i was more open to just exploring i'm open to start conversations because i'm not just all in the face of the people who i know all the time And so this is given a vibe of someone needing to, because even on this friend group, all of them are different shades. They are all different shades. Diversity. Too much of one thing can mess up a person. Okay. It can have you being pretty mono, like, like a monolith. But it's something about finding peoples and stuff that connect to those different aspects. Like, and this Knight of Wands, you know, it's an airplane in the background. You know, it's hard to see because it's dark, but you see that airplane wing up there. So this is giving a vibe of, because a Knight of Wands is fast, fast movement, fast travel. And so being at the airport, this is giving a vibe of a portal vibe. So different people allow you access to different portals. Now that's a message. People from your past, they're a portal to your past. They're a portal to remind you of who you are, who you were, what you did, what you blah, 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 blah. People that don't know you, they're a portal to the future. Because they're not a reminder of that, that shit. So you don't have, don't be afraid to meet new people. Don't be afraid to make new friends. Because they're a portal to new access for you. The seven degrees of separation. It's all about access. Who is opening you up to new access to things? That's what a business person think like. You know what I'm saying? It's always something that's going to benefit them too. You know what I'm saying? But they want to make sure both of y'all got access. Just that's funny. I deleted my Instagram today too. That is hilarious. I was like, baby, I don't need this. It's cool to have, but if somebody need to look me up, they can find me on LinkedIn. Instagram ain't nothing but a bunch of horny people. Okay. Stalking. This <laughs> is cyber stalking. Okay, like a lot of that don't be real friendships. It just be people keeping tabs on people. And that's why I like to disappear. I up and disappear in this bitch. Make them wonder. Okay, make them wonder. Okay. 
I like to up and disappear. I do this all the time. This is me. This is my MO, okay? <laughs> and then I pop back up. Okay, I just popped back up when I for my birthday and graduation. I literally was gone for what a year and a half, I feel like. And then I popped back up, or maybe it was for a year, I can't remember. And I popped up for my birthday and graduation. That was March. I popped up after my birthday, actually. <clears throat> so we had March, April, May, June, July. August. That's six months. That's enough time. Bye. Gotta go. Gotta blast. Got a blast. <laughs> no, when I found out that, no, for real though, when I found out that my um, ex B to my Instagram pictures, that really disgusted me. And seeing how people literally, because he slipped up and said it. Because he tried to see me. And I'm like, nah, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, doing that. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, oh, okay. And this was when I had just, you know what I'm saying, the Instagram stuff. And he was like, I'll just use your Instagram. What? What? Gotta go. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I'm not on here selling ass, okay? Nah, if I still had our OnlyFans, because baby, y'all know I used to be on there selling my little picture, okay? I wasn't naked now, nah, okay? We didn't do that now. Nah. It was just shit I would post on Instagram. I'm like, shit, I'm a businesswoman. If I'm gonna make money, I'll make money, okay? But baby, I ain't selling ass now, okay? I ain't selling ass. <laughs> I ain't selling ass. So that had to go. That had to go. And then, no, 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 no. Let me not even say what I want to say right now because you just never know who's watching you. But it's just interesting what retrograde brought. And it was just like, leave me alone. Leave me alone. And you can't just block people these days because they just get a new number. Like, blocking don't do nothing. You can't just block them on social media because they just going to get a new page, <laughs> okay? So I just stay out the way. So this energy, y'all, as we're talking about, I'm here, I keep hearing, Make new friends, but keep the old ones. One is silver and the other's gold. I feel like the new ones are gold. Okay? I feel like the new ones are gold. <laughs> you about to meet new friends who expand your mind expand your horizon they expand your knowledge and your understanding to a space where it's just like you never even thought to even think about this like you never even thought to discuss this like it's just like wow it's like adrenaline filled in a lot of ways you know what i'm saying i'm hearing just what i needed like this is just what i needed because some of you all were getting bored The Seven of Swords. Now, why your ass got to come out? Ancestors, why you always got to throw a wrench in some shit? Ooh, I almost threw these cards. Ooh, I almost threw these cards. Because they always got to throw some shit in. We doing good. We doing good, Ancestors. Why you always got... But wait, hold on. There's more. There's more. I don't want to know more. <laughs> I didn't ask for more. <laughs> I did, though. I did. I did. I really did, because I'm the one who pulled the card. I did. I did. I did. 
You got me there. Okay, you got me there. Let's clarify this seven of swords. Ancestors, clarify this seven of swords. It really was accountability. That really was a moment of accountability. It really was. It really was. Got me together real quick. Okay. The Ace of Disc. I just heard you ain't getting no money. <laughs> I some of y'all going where the money reside. Okay, you going where the money reside. <laughs> you going where the money reside. Okay. Because with the seven of swords, it's like you may be getting out of a situation or out of a space where it's just like some wasn't what it was. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't what it appeared to be. So, it gives this vibe of, like, you know, say you dating somebody who got on all. I don't know why I didn't show the thing. Who got on all, like, the latest clothes and stuff, right? But, like, they online bragging. Why is it not doing my chat? Okay, they online bragging and stuff. But they need help paying their bills. And it's just like, you online bragging about all these clothes and stuff you got, but you need help paying your bills. You're getting away from those types of people. You had some people around you who was like that. Some people around you who they, their actions and their life don't fit how they are and who they are. And you know that. And it's something about you needing to get away from that fake ass energy. Ancestor said it just like that. With their hand on their hip, like how my hand is on my hip. I'm here and get away from that fake ass energy. Okay? Because they're lying to themselves. Their level of delusion don't include the accountability we just talked about. It doesn't include them working on themselves to shift something. It includes them continuously doing what they're doing because they have learned helplessness. That's what this is. This is going back to that reading where we had where, you know, like that person, that elder, that uncle or some who been talking about this business, they're going to start for five years. Okay? When you going to start it? <laughs> We waiting, big dog. You keep saying you're the baddest, but you ain't you ain't showing nothing. You ain't got nothing to show for it, okay? Please stop talking, okay? Your breath stink, okay? Please stop, okay? Baby, yes, that damn school, child. You got the two of swords. This is some indecisive ass shit. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid that you're going to leave someone while they're low and when you should have been investing in them and understanding them and loving them so that y'all can, you know, be this balance to help? Like, is that what's keeping you from doing something? Is that what's keeping you? It's giving a vibe of like a guilt friendship. Like, you're only friends with them because you know they're, they're sick. Like, I don't know why this is the example I'm getting, and this is, like, emotional to give this example, but this is what's coming to me. Did any of you all watch Being Mary Jane? Did any of y'all watch Being Mary Jane? Okay, some of y'all did. So, y'all know her best friend, right? The doctor. 
and how with their friendship, Mary Jane felt, I'm not going to go into details of what she did and stuff, but if you know, you know, okay? Um, but because of their history and what she went through and experienced, Mary Jane felt responsible as a friend to still always be there, to still support her, to still show up. Even in those times where, you know, old girl wasn't the best friend. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, she has a mental illness and her stepdad did this to her when she was a child. And her mom was fucked up. And this happened. So I can forgive that she, you know what I'm saying, fucked with my man. Okay? I can forgive that. Ain't no pity friendships. Okay? That girl knew how to turn her pain and turn it into a manipulation tactic as a way to survive. And that goes into what we were talking about in the first part of the reading tonight. Of how your trauma, you turn into your identity. And you need to watch out for allowing your trauma to become your identity and your sole purpose. So then it becomes a manipulation tool. And you need to watch out for people who utilize that. Who do that. Who utilize what they done been through always, constantly. To make you stay. To make you feel bad. To make you understand. To, to make you want to care. To make you want to do this. Watch out for them type of people, okay? They know what they doing. They know what they doing, okay? Like the type of people who, they not going to ask you for no money, but they going to complain about not having no money. They going to complain about not having no money. You know why they doing that? Because they know you a good person and they, and they got hopes that you going to offer them some. Listen, you got to know the game, okay? Before I moved with my dad, I, I understood the streets now, okay? And a lot of people who have gone through trauma are very manipulative. We not going to hide that. We not going to lie because they had to learn how to be manipulative to survive. So if you're living in survival, everything that you do... It's through survival. And you need to understand that. I don't care who you are. If you are in survival in your trauma, you're willing to do a lot to protect that ego as much as possible. You're willing to hurt me to protect yourself. You're willing to hurt me to save yourself. You're willing to manipulate me to get something to as long as you got what you needed out of it. The same people who was willing to sell drugs to their own family members. Okay? We need to understand that everybody ain't really like us. <laughs> like... And I, I don't want to sound condescending when I say this. So it's like, let me change this or how I want to. But it's just like, what's it going to take to get through that noggin? One, two, three, four on the time. We cooking. What's cooking good looking? What's shaking, baking? <laughs> 
Yes, don't lose it, baby. And we all, I know I've done it, okay? I fall trapped to it. I notice it as a trauma response, even in like dating, right? When it pop up and it's just like, Ugh! and so I fall back because I notice it. And we have to remember that childlike energy, when you're operating in a childlike energy, people will try to utilize that and see that as naivety and feel like it can be easily manipulated. So when you're operating in your, you're in your childlike season, right? So as you're operating in your childlike season, your childlike energy, don't allow yourself to be easily manipulated though. Okay. Don't allow yourself to be easily manipulated though. I might seem fun and childish because I am fun and childish as fuck, but I will also shoot you. If you if you push me to that place and it was my life or yours, I would do it in a heartbeat, okay? No questions asked. And best believe it's cameras all around me to have proof of what happened, okay? I'm both. I'm both, okay? Don't make me have to stand on business. You get what I'm saying? And so it's like, we have to accept both sides of ourselves, accept that. And that goes down to where they was talking about finding different people. So you may have people that you go to the range with. You have people that you go get your nails done with, right? You have different groups of people that you connect to for different things. Okay. I'm seeing with this two of swords, as I look on here, I see this candle is almost burnt all the way out. So it's giving a vibe of you're making a decision really soon about something. What is this decision? I be saying I'm going to be civilized on these lives. And then once again, uncouth. <laughs> Like, I ain't got no damn manners or something, okay? I be wanting to be all, um, okay, and now we're going to pull for um, what type of friend groups you should get into. <laughs> I want to, and I'm not, I'm not being funny on the people who do that. I think it's so dope to see people who have like a structure. I be loving that.